Hello and welcome to your weekly Excel tutorial with Dave. Today we're going to talk about resizing different cells. This will help you actually use the spreadsheets that you're given in cases like this, where this spreadsheet is almost unusable in the condition that it's in currently. Uh, the first way that I'll recommend is actually a way that you uh, will auto-correct each of the different cell widths one at a time. So if we take this column and we take A, and when your cursor changes between the A and the B, right there on that grid line, uh, if you double click, it will automatically resize the column so that the information contained within is all displayed. So you also can do the same thing with rows, which just under the two at this grid line, uh, your cursor will change, you double click, and it will automatically resize that cell. Uh, the way that you can apply this, the second way, is to apply this to the entire sheet all at once. So what you do is you click this left uh, topmost box here, and it selects your entire spreadsheet. So you go right over next to A again, and double click. It actually does that auto correction on each of the cells that were selected. So if we do that again, and we apply that to the different rows, once again, it will auto format to fit that height of the cell that's most appropriate. It displays all of the information. Uh, the third way that you can do this is actually you can highlight whatever range of columns that you want, or rows as it were, and select a manual width in the right click menu. So let's just select 15 here. You'll note that it selects everything regardless of what information is contained and it will expand that or shrink that if it is necessary to that 15 value. So uh, let's fix that once more and show you the rows. So we right click and we go to row height and let's try 20 on this one. Um, it will actually expand each of those that you have selected but it won't modify anything outside of that. And the final way, in case you don't need to display all of the information, in this example, the college degree field, uh, college yes or no is enough. That's enough for me, and I really could use a little bit of extra space on my screen. I can actually grab this grid line and just shrink it down. So I just keep college there. That's enough for me as I'm using this. Uh, to know that these yes and no's mean college degree. And now I've got a little bit of extra space on the right-hand side of my screen uh, for additional columns or additional information, whatever you might need. So if you like this video, if you found it helpful, please subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or send me a message, and I'll get back to you. Thank you.